you know, I think this TV show is so good. They should make a game out of it. Sorry, sorry, could not resist. My bad, guys. I've seen too many tweets in the last couple weeks ever since the show started to drop that people are unaware that this is one of the greatest games that has probably been ever gracing God's green earth. And as always, I'm Brett for d Variants. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, the bottom right corner here, if you want more amazing content from us. But let's get into this breakdown, episode four. This one was more of a nod to humanity um showing joel and ellie's relationship is continuing to grow continue to evolve things are getting more complicated because there's feelings there they're starting to genuinely care for each other as a father and as a daughter would even though they have zero relation whatsoever they're slowly becoming one and it's nice to see, even though this dystopian world is absolute anarchy, you can't trust people, you can't trust the infected for obvious reasons. And now you just have to force yourself to continue to go on, try and find reasons to keep going on, which Ellie was asking about. What in the world is even the point of doing this? Why are we struggling through what we have? What What's even the purpose, the grand scheme of this? He's like, we have to keep going on, and I'm personally moving on for family. And as they're on the journey, obviously, Kansas, Kansas well, City, I should say, is clearly just not not it right at this point in time. And Kathleen is doing everything she can to get Henry. And things are about to get absolutely crazy. If you play the game, you know what we're talking about. Things are absolutely nuts. I'm absolutely shocked, though, that the actress that is playing Kathleen is the chick who played the crazy stalker of Charlie Sheen's character on Two and a Half Men. So her name was Rose. I believe the character was Rose at that time. But that was interesting to see. I was like, huh, I recognize you from somewhere. And then, obviously, we got these two, both from Game of Thrones. I'll be separate at times because their characters never had any interaction whatsoever. But we should be renaming the first four months of the year the months of Pascal because, obviously... This came out in January. This is already February, so going strong. Probably will continue on into March, which Mandalorian drops in March, which we will have covered here. So Pascal will continue onwards all the way until April. I don't really have much else to break down for this episode. There's a lot that is within the subtleties of the episode. I'm losing the car, losing the ammo. That sucks. Um, Joel's figuring out what Ellie's fully capable of, and she's showing that she's more mature than what her age would ultimately allude to, and everyone is pitching in together for the good of humanity, even though Kathleen has made the grievous mistake of allowing one of the infected to continue to carry on, even though she needs to take a more aggressive manner in that, as opposed to this mad dog hunt overall for Henry. I've been Brent. This has been Geek Variants. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let us know if you have any other thoughts in the comments below. We'll holler back at you with some more astute analysis. Sorry, I am filling in for Tony, who's not up to it at the moment, and Will, who is traveling away currently at this point in time. We'll have more great stuff for you. I still have to get caught up on Titans, give you guys a breakdown on that. And we'll be continuing on My Hero Academia, as well as the Last of Us Breakdowns. I'll see you in the next episodes.